What's your most NSFW family moment? My uncle cheated on my aunt with her brother's wife for a while about 17 over 18 years ago. Nobody outside of those four people know except me and my eldest cousin because my aunt got drunk one family reunion and told us. Everyone thinks the two families just hate each other for some petty reason. What makes it worse is my aunt has a child who is turning 18 who looks nothing like his dad, but strikingly similar to my other uncle. Yet nobody has ever mentioned anything, and we have never brought it up. TL. Doctor my cousin might be my cousin. One Thanksgiving. Many years ago, my mom got the bright idea that, before eating we would go around the table and everyone would share what they were thankful for. My dad told her repeatedly that he wasn't doing that, and that was a bad idea, but she insisted. So we're sitting there at the table waiting to see what happens. My whole family was in attendance, brother, sisters, aunts, uncles, cousins, and my grandmother. My dad volunteers to go first, and the look on my mom's face is one where she's trying to decide if she should be worried about what has going to say, mixed with wondering if he just decided to play along. My dad says, I'm thankful that I'm 50 years old, and I can still get a rock hard erection. Half the table died laughing, half the table was uncomfortable, my mom was pissed, and my dad got exactly what he wanted and stopped that whole process in its tracks. Then it was dinner time. My mom came home one day to a giant pair of tits flapping up and down in the computer screen with the volume on high. Coincidentally my brother was the only one home that day. I was having trouble with my radiator, and had no toolbox. So I asked my dad if I could borrow his. He came over and said head fix it for me. I hadn't had time to clean up since he only lives 2 minutes away. So he started reading me my rights about how messy my house is etc. etc. As he was lamenting over my clothes being on the floor. He opened my wardrobe to demonstrate how much room I had. In my wardrobe there is a box. My dad looked down at the box. The box was up the box was filled with fetish gear and 6 toys. My dad closed the wardrobe and fixed my radiator. When I was 12 to 13, at a hotel room with my parents for a basketball tournament gold medal thanks for asking, they fricked. In the bed right next to mine. 10 minutes after lights out. I never mentioned it to anybody. Last weekend I was visiting New York City, and lo and behold we share a hotel room. They fricked. Again. My grandma told my whole family at dinner that she had six on the beach once. When asked when, she replied, when I was 76. Not me but my cousin who has a bit of a drinking problem was staying at our grandparents house for a local festival. She proceeds to get hammered drunk and walks home. Walks in the door, goes to the bathroom, and gets naked and crawls into bed. The problem is that it wasn't in the room she was sleeping in. It was in my grandparents room. So crawled in next to my grandfather naked. I was at my first real girlfriend's house when I was in high school. We would have six in the basement finished basement when her family was home to avoid any walk-ins. After I finished it was common practice to tie the condom in a knot and avoid throwing it in the trash bin to avoid the mom finding it when she was cleaning. So I left it on top of the ping pong table thinking I could take it upstairs with me when we decided to leave the ping pong table was right next to the couch. Well, I fricked up. Her father and little brother thought it was a good time to go downstairs and play ping pong. The brother gets to the table first, sees the used rubber, picks it up the load awesome just dangling there holds it out turns to his father and says, Dad, what is this? The dad's face was of sheer terror as he screamed at his son to drop it, grabbed his wrist, and stomped upstairs all, while not breaking eye contact with me. I guess that instilled a fear of birth control into the poor girl, she got knocked up in college by a man her dad's age. I was back in town to see my family, and I met up with my dad and stepmom. They were out drinking with some of our closest family friends. Well after about an hour or so they are getting pretty drunk and rowdy. I notice the women including my stepmom start getting real flirtatious with each other. Mind you there are 5 couples including my parents at this gathering. I watch it continue and I have to admit I'm a little uncomfortable seeing all these people I grew up around being overly sexual in public and in general. 
After a while I finally said what the frick is going on here, to my parents. My stepmom started laughing, and replied drunkenly with, To be honest you're the only one in this room I haven't frick needless to say I left quickly after that. I was caught mid wank by my sister's then boyfriend, who was living with us at the time. I covered things up quick enough, which was a good thing as I was wanking to a pronoun mag I found under his bed. My mom chased my teenage brothers around the house inside and out with a dildo once. I had the chance to ask my brother about it later. He was pissed about it at the time, but I was like 6. And my mom was laughing so much, so I thought everyone was having a good time. Looking back at it, I can see why he was pissed, mom's dildo, and why she thought it was so funny. Good memories. There was a time when my family lived in a tiny apartment. We had one bedroom with a double deck bed. My parents slept on the bottom bunk and my older sister and I slept at the top. Well, one night I wake up to the bed shaking and peeking below I realized my parents were having six. I was like maybe eight or nine, so I wasn't really grossed out but just really confused. My sister slept through the entire thing, or so I've always thought. My husband and I had to move in with his parents for about 3 months, when we were having financial issues. As I have the very last bag in my hand ready to move to our new home I sat the bag on the living room floor, and went to the bathroom. When I came out something was going off in the bag. I said it's probably our son's Thomas the Tank Toy my mom and law dives right in, and pulls out my vibrator and holds it up for like 30 seconds like the Statue of Liberty holding up her freaking torch. My father-in-law and brother-in-law were also right there in the room. Needless to say they still bring it up, and Thomas the Train is now code for vibrator in that family. Not my story, a friend of mine from high school. His whole family went to Colombia for Christmas vacation and he fell in love with a girl out there. They went out on a few dates and kissed and stuff, but didn't have sex yet. Then one night, they were having a party at his family's house everyone was partying outside. So the two of them, 17 years old and a bad combo of drunk and horny, snuck back into the house to have sex for the first time. They start going at it then the whole family basically walks in on them, laugh their asses off, and walked right back out. After being long distance all throughout college, they got married a few years ago and just had their first kid last year thought it would be a good idea to make breakfast for my dad and stepmom. Cooked it all, got it ready, and bought the plates in, and thought bringing it in unannounced would be a wonderful surprise. I was not greeted by smiles. Instead I was presented by an image that is forever burnt into my mind. My dad under the covers obviously plugging away with my step, mom's head hanging off the side of the bed with her eyes closed, and showing me her o face. I retrieved it quickly, but my brain went well better put that in permanent storage, and make it one of the clearest memories possible. Don't worry, you won't be forgetting any detail at all. Ed. My uncle's new wife was meeting the family for the first time, and after a glass of wine she asks if she can be herself. Everyone said yes then she asked my then 71 year old grandpa if he sit at home watching pronoun and jacking off all day at it. This was our first time having her at a family function we had met her in passing at their wedding you know it's weird so no one really knew anything about her. We found out some time later she had started a brawl at her own wedding, after we had departed, and my family is no longer welcome at American Legion. Had a gf over, we did the nasty, I threw the used condom into the trash. Took her home then came home to my mom and sister laughing their asses off. Turns out our dog, ran up to my room, grabbed it out of the trash, and was playing with it, while I was gone, and they found it. Edit, apparently this is common. I moved back home from college after my freshman year, and had to share a room with my high school, aged brother for a while. I had to listen to him rub one out every single night, before he went to sleep. That was a little uncomfortable. Edit, for all the people saying I should have said something to him, he always wore headphones, while jerking the gherkin. I didn't really want to go tap on his shoulder and say hey, stop beating your pud. In retrospect I should have worn headphones myself, but my mom kicked him out of the house for being a juvenile delinquent before the end of the summer so it wasn't a long term problem. Edit 2, posted this in another comment, but we were on opposite sides of the room. 
with a tall dresser between us so fortunately there was no direct line of sight. I could just hear it, and there's no mistaking that. When I was really young I was playing PlayStation in my brother's room, he has this giant poster of some blonde model, half naked. Pause the game for a quick 5 minute wank, I finished up and just looked towards his bedroom door, my mum literally just walked away as I looked up. Never got mentioned ever. I was house sitting for my grandparents many moons ago, and I had to get a fresh sheet. When I lifted the first one, lo and behold, there was my grandmother's vibrator. I kept that secret for years. When I eventually told my mom about it her only reaction was your grandfather is impotent. I was weirded out, but now I just laugh about it. Edit, there seems to be some confusion about the impotency, and obviously my grandfather wasn't always impotent. It happened with age. On a different, and not entirely unrelated note, he is not my biological grandfather, so he could be my grandfather regardless. When I was 18 I dated a girl. She lived about an hour away, so I would stay at her house overnight, but her parents were old and let us stay in the same room, so I slept in a guest bed in the basement. Being 18 year olds we would be up very late, and go to bed around 2am. Her dad was some kind of delivery driver, and worked around 4. He came down to the basement every single morning before work, and masturbated to pronoun on the desktop computer, while I was sleeping 10 feet away. There was only a couch between us, so the first couple times I lifted my head to see what he was doing before I realized. You better believe I didn't keep it a secret from her. Ed quietly text from under the blanket your dad's jerking it again right next to me. When I was a lot younger I'm 29 now, my parents had some people over, including my one aunt and uncle who are incredibly straight laced. Early on in the evening, in one of the family rooms, she put on a VHS tape to watch a movie she remembered seeing back during a trip she took with my uncle years ago. Nothing was really happening with the get together as of, yet since it was still really early in the evening, so some of us stuck around to see what movie it was before more people came. Within the first 5 minutes, there were more topless girls and nudity in it than your average Skinner Max flick nowadays. My aunt is absolutely mortified at this point, and says she doesn't remember any of this in the movie, while my mom her sister is laughing hysterically, grabs the remote from her, and says she should keep it on, just because what's going on is so ridiculous and my aunt's reaction is just so funny. I think my mom's exact words were how the hell could you not remember any of this? There's so many tits on the screen I can't even see the plot. Everyone in the room is dying that she brought over what was essentially a soft core 80s exploitation movie with the subplot of there being some skiing thrown in there sporadically. My dad walks in, since he hears everyone laughing, and has just got the biggest WTF face on when he sees what's up, makes an about face back towards the kitchen, and pours himself a drink. I skipped school, I used to do it all the time because my dad worked 7am to 5pm most days, and was a single father. I was in my room as per norm, and he came home early, didn't wanna get caught so stayed perfectly still. My bedroom's at the top of the stairs, the computer is right at the base of the stairs. Dad watches pronoun for the next hour, I think he heard a squeak cause he stopped to holler up the stairs for me, but didn't budge, didn't move, didn't say anything, just waited. 5 minutes pass, has satisfied. Goes back to his business. Never told him. Never skipped school again. My auntie rang my best mate who was mowing her lawns during that time, and asked him to frig her. He declined. It's good because, even though I don't see her often, she usually slips me 50 bucks. I figure it's her way of saying STFU. I shouted out loud that my dad's penis was huge at an olive guard I was for. Dad dick syndrome had me pretty good. The morning after my wedding I bumped into my cousin in the hotel lobby and she was asking about one of my grooms and she wanted to know how we were related to him. I told her he was just a friend of mine. She looked disappointed by this and at the time I had no idea why. She had cheated on her new husband with him after the wedding reception and she was bummed he wasn't her cousin or some shoot. Found a picture of my dad wearing lingerie, not in her I enjoy wearing it at home by myself kind of way, but in her I was forced to buy my mates during a piss up kind of way. Hilarious with a hint of mental scarring because ooh. 
It was known for a long time that my grandpa had a child with his mistress. After he died, we found out he had yet another kid several years later. The minfrick part is that this second child is only two years older than me, meaning I have an aunt that I would have gone to high school with. Shared a kiss with my cousin. She kissed me, and it held for 1 to 2 seconds, because both of us were drunk, and I didn't want to be rough to just shove her away. Let's just say, she had a crazy patch in her life. When I was still in school, I came home with my GF at the time. We're upstairs in my room and she's giving me a blowjob. Across the room, I see the door start to slowly, and ridiculously silently, up and walks my father. Sees me, sees her. Most awkward eye contact ever. In a panic, I do the only thing I could think of. I point him out the door. Just as quietly as he came in, he was gone again. And on that day, he gained my eternal respect. She still doesn't know. TL. Doctor. Dad was a bro. When it counted most. When my siblings and I were all kids, my mom had this crazy idea for a family game. She bought hundreds of pencils and led us all into the bathroom and we had a contest to see who could hold the most pencils with their body. Any part of the body was fair game. Fistfuls of pencils, under the armpits, in the mouth, behind the ears poked through hair, in between toes, under bobs, sandwiched in the ears crack like a hot dog. Use your imagination. And no, there was nothing sexual about it, no insertion. And also no, I have no idea what my mom was on that day. Edit. Okay now this has gotten pretty visible people are starting to make a lot of allegations and assumptions. So let me clear things up. My mom is kinda a did see one a hippie, and there really was nothing sexual about it. Some of us tried harder, because of the competitive aspect of it, but we were mostly all bored within a few minutes, and went back to our video games. No one was forced to do anything, and there was no touching. She probably had a thought along the lines of I wonder how many pencils I can hold with my whole body? Oh I bet this could be a game. I was helping my then boyfriend's sister move into a new place, and the keys were at the new house, and someone needed to go get them. So my boyfriend and I drove over to get them. While we were there, we did a little exploring of the new empty house. We realized there was an attic, and opened the ceiling door to let the steps down. I climbed up first, and being in a skirt, gave my boyfriend a nice view. We ended up having six right there on the attic ladder, and right in the middle we hear the door open. Boyfriend's name called out, a pause, and then the door shut. We sheepishly returned to the rest of the family at the old house, to find his sister trying not to laugh hysterically. She says their mother came over to try to find out what was taking so long. Upon her return, she just loudly exclaimed they were fucking. To this day it's our favorite phrase to exclaim. I was on a road trip with my parents and the family dog after my brother went to college, and we checked into a hotel room with two queen beds. My parents took one, the dog and I were in the other. My dad wanted to gross me out, and said now son, if you hear anything in the middle of the night, keep your eyes on that wall, and pointed behind me with one hand, putting his arm around my disgusted mom with the other. I put my arm around the dog and said okay, but I expect the same courtesy. Edit, as thanks for the gold, he'll admit this here, I was not going for a bestiality joke, I was going for a masturbation joke, and put my arm around the dog, to try and look cool. Edit 2, dog's name was Chip, not Colby, and this happened around 2002. My uncle is a pimp in Gambia, he's originally from England. My cousin once went to stay with him, towards the end of his first night there he was told he had a back quote present waiting for him in bed. Goes upstairs to find a young lady completely naked lay across the bed. Not sure how long she'd been waiting. My father accidentally sexted a picture of my mother topless to my wife. She had just sent them a group text with pictures of the kids and apparently he just sent it to the most recent conversation with my mom's name on it. My mother immediately called her, and my wife said, when she picked up my mom let out a big sigh, and said god damn it Larry. And then proceeded to apologize profusely. I heard about it all, when I got home between the bouts of laugh so hard till you cry. Apparently my mother has a nice rack. My dad has decided to act like nothing ever happened. Oh man, I have many. One time, 
when I was probably around 10 years old or so, my cousin was visiting us and decided to play a little game with me. Granted, I didn't quite understand the nuances of mixed families back then, but I knew something was up because she had significantly darker skin than me slash us. She looked a little like Pocahontas to me. Well, I lived with my single grandmother at the time. My cousin was a couple of years older than me, and I'm told we were good friends and we bathed together as kids I don't remember this, was too young. On this particular day, we somehow ended up playing a game privately in my room wherein we would try to push each other over with a pillow, and the loser had to reveal a private part. She didn't even try. I won over and over, and she had the bigger pillow. She showed me everything she had, and I was flabbergasted. I remember it vividly. We never told anyone, and I haven't seen her in over a decade, incidentally. Yes, I have tried to find her again. No, I have not been successful. Our families have drifted apart. I've told this story before in r slash tifu, but I guess it warrants a revisit. So I met my eventual wife back in 2007, and the next summer, her grandparents moved to town. On July 4th, 2008, I did what I did every 4th back then, which was get a handle of Jameson, go to my friend's house, swim in his pool, get blackout drunk, and eat grilled hot dogs and hamburgers all day long. Well, at about 2pm, my girlfriend eventual wife shows up at the house, and asks if I'm ready to go. Come to find out, she had already made plans to get off work early and go over to her grandparents' house to have food and for me to meet them for the first time, and I just forgot about it. At least that's what she tells me. I had already put away about a third of that handle, so I was pretty lit, but I gathered my wits and agreed to go. Well, when I got there, her grandfather greeted me with a shot of 149 proof whiskey and a coals light. I drank that, and a lot more that day. So things went south pretty quick. At this point I'm going off of what I've been told, rather than what I remember, but sometime that afternoon, I decided that I needed to take a piss off the back porch, in broad daylight, in the suburbs. It was all I could do to stand up at that point, so of course I put my hand on something nearby, so I could keep my balance. That thing just happened to be a grill that had been cooking shoot for several hours. So my girlfriend's grandmother was closest to the door, and when she heard the commotion, she came outside to find me on the deck, with my deck out, pissing everywhere, holding my hand, screaming why is this grill so goddamn hot. That crazy beach told this story at my wedding. In hindsight, they were super cool about it, but that was a crazy way to meet my eventual wife's grandparents.